Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Uh, so continuing our discussion about antibiotics and uh, now we are going to talk about the macrolides. Uh, the macrolides, the name micro macrolides originate from their structure. Uh, those agents contain the macrocyclic lactone ring with sugar molecules. Uh, and those uh, drugs are used uh, as an alternative to penicillin in case uh, the person have penicillin allergy so they are used as alternative to penicillin because they both have similar spectrum meaning the macrolides having similar spectrum to the spectrum of the penicillin in this video we will mention those agents and we will talk about the pharmacokinetics of them, the mechanism of action, the spectrum, the resistance, the therapeutic uses, the adverse effects, and the drug interactions. So let's start. So this class of antibiotics contain different uh, agents, including the erythromycin. The erythromycin is the prototype macrolide uh, and it was discovered in the 1940s so prototype uh, macrolide and the half-life of the erythromycin is about uh, two hours the other drug that we have is the uh, clarithromycin clarithromycin with a half-life of 3.5 uh, five hours. We also have the azithromycin with the longest half-life of uh, 40 hours uh, and we have the roxithromycin roxithromycin uh, and this of half-life of 10 hours. We also have the telithromycin, telithromycin. This is considered as a ketolide. A ketolide is a modified microlide, uh, and the telithromycin is active against resistance, resistant organisms to the macrolides. So active uh, against resistant organisms to the macrolides uh, and we it also have a half-life of 10 hours so 10 hours uh, half uh, life we also have the fidaxomycin Fidaxomycin, uh, and this agent is uh, active against Clostridium difficile, uh, active against uh, C. difficile, and it has 14 hours of half life. Now let's talk about the pharmacokinetics of the macrolides and let's start with the administration. Uh, the macrolides are adequately absorbed uh, when used orally. So adequately uh, absorbed. The erythromycin uh, is destroyed by the gastric uh, acid so uh, intercoated uh, forms uh, or esterotified forms are used uh, in case of the erythromycin so erythromycin uh, affected by uh, gastric uh, acid uh, the food uh, decrease their absorption so food 
uh, decrease uh, their uh, absorption but when uh, but when given on empty on empty stomach uh, they cause irritation so uh, they has to be given with food so food decrease their absorption uh, but uh, they had to be had to be given with food the clarithromycin is the one agent that have good absorption even with food so clarithromycin Uh, good absorption uh, even with food finally all of them is available in all or, in oral formula it is the main formula in case of the macrolides so all uh, available uh, oral we have the erythromycin and the azithromycin available in intravenous formula as well as the oral formula so erythromycin and uh, azithromycin uh, available intravenous uh, now let's talk about the distribution of the macrolides The molecular molecular weight of the uh, mo macrolides molecular weight uh, is around uh, from seven uh, seven hundred thirty to eight hundred fifty, uh, and that would make them uh, can't cross the blood brain barrier, can't cross uh, blood brain barrier, uh, but they can cross the placental barrier so can cross uh, placenta and they are not teratogenic and uh, not uh, teratogenic and we have the uh, erythromycin and the azithro azithromycin are both proven to be safe during pregnancy uh, they also have good concentration through body fluids good concentration in body uh, fluids uh, like uh, prostate uh, pleura uh, etc they also have a long duration of action long duration uh, of action even after the plasma concentration is decreased or diminished the drug is still working uh, thanks to the post antibiotic effect uh, exhibited by these antibiotics and they stay in the macrophages and infection sites uh, even if the plasma concentration is decreased so longer duration of action uh, due to uh, post antibiotic effect The metabolism of the macrolides is in the liver and the excretion is also in the liver so in the liver excretion is also by the liver through the bile and when they get excreted they reabsorbed again by the interior hepatic circulation and they stay in the body for a long time and that's why they are considered hepatotoxic so best to, sh to use short regimens in case of using these drugs now let's talk about the mechanism of action of the macrolides remember that we have two types of subunits in the bacterial ribosome we have the uh, 30S and we have the 50S uh, and the macrolides are protein synthesis inhibitors so they work on the ribosomes and we have the 30S and the 50S ribosomal subunits the macrolides would work on the 50S so macrolides 
uh, bind uh, into the 50S ribosomal subunit by weak and reversible bond by weak bond and that would make them uh, bacteriostatic but they become bactericidal uh, in high concentrations bactericidal uh, in high concentrations and uh, depending on the organism treated depends on um, organism or microorganism uh, treated regarding the spectrum of the macrolides the macrolides work on uh, the gram positives works on the gram positives and they have spectrum similar to the penicillin G meaning they cover the staph the streptococcus the pneumococci and other gram positives like the diphtheria but they also work on some gram negatives on some uh, gram negatives and they work on atypical microorganisms and those are uh, are collected in the mnemonic uh, calm uh, my uh, leg the calm for chlamydia the my is for uh, mycoplasma and the leg is for ligonella and they also work on the toxoplasma uh, which is uh, a parasite uh, that's because they also work uh, on the 40S subunit in the parasites now let's talk about the resistance against the macrolides we have different resistance uh, patterns against the macrolides we have uh, patterns so we have the presence of efflux pumps efflux pumps uh, spell or expel the macrolide out of the bacterial cell when it enter uh, it and we have also decreased entry of the drug into the cell decreased entry uh, into the cell and we have the decreased affinity of the 50S ribosomal subunit to the macrolide so decrease affinity of the 50S to the macrolide and that would make the macrolide uh, unable to bind into the 50S or less able to bind and that would make it less effective the, there is a high chance to get resistance after long courses of the uh, macrolides so a uh, high chance to get resistance uh, in regimens longer uh, get resistance in long uh, regimens longer than 10 days so it is better to use uh, short courses or short regimens and we get two benefits from the short courses the less resistance associated and we also have uh, as we mentioned before we get less hepatotoxicity The erythromycin, which is the prototype agent, is of limited use because of their resistance. There is a lot of resistance against this antibiotic, so erythromycin is of limited use.
the telethromycin, on the other hand, is highly active against resistance microorganisms against the other type of types of the macrolides. So telethromycin active against resistance battery, resistance uh, types or resistance organisms. Now let's talk about the therapeutic uses of the macrolides. The macrolides are used to treat gram-positive uh, infections and it is usually the second line uh, after uh, the penicillin and the cephalosporin. So the first line is either penicillin or cephalosporin and the second line is the uh, macrolides and they are used for treatment of staphylococci, streptococci infections, the pneumococci, and the diphtheria. They are also used to treat uh, infection by atypical organisms, atypical uh, or, uh, organisms collected in the mnemonic, uh, calm my leg. The calm is for the chlamydia. Uh, chlamydia causes uh, eye and uh, genital infections, and it is considered uh, an STD, and it is treated with the macrolides. It also works on the uh, mycoplasma, which is the in the mnemonic, so mycoplasma. Mycoplasma causes atypical type of the pneumonia. It is called the mycoplasma uh, pneumonia. And it is treated with macrolides also. We also have the leg, which is for the legonella. Uh, legonella causes the Pontiac fever. Pontiac fever and the Ligonier's disease so Ligonier's disease and they are both respiratory illnesses the Pontiac fever is mild the Ligonier disease is severe uh, and the macrolides work well on the Ligonella infection too the mycoplasma treated with either the azithromycin, which is a microlide, uh, or the doxycycline, which is uh, a tetracycline. The ligonella, on the other uh, hand, it is treated with fluoroquinolones. Fluoroquinolones, uh, or the azithromycin, which is a macrolide. Also in the therapeutic uses, the clarithromycin uh, are used uh, to treat, so clarithromycin used to treat peptic ulcer, to treat uh, H. pylori uh, peptic ulcer, peptic ulcer, and it is combined with the uh, combined with amoxicillin uh, and proton pump inhibitor. And this is what we call the triple regimen to treat the peptic ulcer or the H. pylori infection that cause peptic ulcer. It is, a com it is a combination of the clarithromycin, the amoxicillin, and the proton pump inhibitor. The macrolides also used to treat toxoplasmosis. Toxoplasmosis uh, by using the azithromycin or the uh, clarithromycin. Uh, 
uh, other indications include so other uh, indications include the macrolide being uh, second or third line in treating ENT infections gonorrhea uh, and uh, syphilis now let's talk about the adverse effects of the uh, macrolides first first of all we have the gastric uh, irritation gastric irritation occur with the oral forms of the macrolides they also cause liver side effects so liver uh, side effects uh, including the cholestatic hepatitis so cholestatic hepatitis because the macrolides are reabsorbed in the uh, in the enterohepatic circulation is reabsorbed in the enterohepatic circulation and they stay for a long time and this lead to cholestatic hepatitis uh, in w w while using uh, long regimens so that's why short regimens are preferred short uh, regimens preferred to overcome the cholestatic hepatitis they also inhibit the cytochrome B450 and the cytochrome B450 is used to metabolize uh, a lot of different drugs so when inhibiting CYB450 we get uh, some of the of the drugs are not metabolized and this lead to uh, toxicity so inhibiting of the CYB450 lead to toxicity while using some other drugs while using some drugs that are metabolized by that enzyme like the statin the cyclosporine and the warfarin they also have heart side effects so heart side uh, effects including the prolongation of the QT interval so prolongation of QT interval the normal QT interval is 0.45 of the second but when taking this drug it might lead to prolongation of the QT interval and lead to uh, an arrhythmia called torsades D point uh, and it is the macrolides are considered uh, torsada, torsadogenic drug meaning it causes the arrhythmia torsas D point uh, and it also becomes worse when there is another drug that causes that is also torsadogenic such as the lopinavir so lopinavir is another drug that is torsadogenic and it becomes the QT interval prolongation become worse when taking another torsadogenic drug we also have transient uh, transient autotoxicity with the uh, azithromycin uh, and the erythromycin with azithromycin uh, and uh, erythromycin now finally let's talk about the drug interactions of the macrolides the macrolides are not taken or not combined with the penicillin so penicillin uh, plus macrolides would give us uh, less effect would inhibit the penicillin effect inhibit penicillin effect uh, that's because the macrolides would slow the bacterial di dividing 
or the dividing ability of the bacteria will be slowed because it inhibits the protein synthesis and the penicillin prefers the bacteria to be highly dividing because it works on the cell wall and it works on the first stage of the cell wall synthesis and that's why uh, combining it with the macrolide would lead to decrease in the effect of the penicillin uh, because now the the bacteria is slowly dividing and the penicillin would be useless and with that we reach the end of this video thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe and share this video uh, and see you in the next video peace